Hi folks, today we're going to show how to insert into an HDFS file system, Hadoop file system using Informatica. Uh, our source is going to be an Oracle table and we're going to insert it into a HDFS file. First I'm in the developer tool and I go under connections. And this is where you set up your Hadoop file system. So I already have one out here called H1. There's not much you put in here, you put in the name and then the name node URI, which is the IP address and the port. That's a standard port for the name node. So it kind of treats it like a file name, um, also like a, like a database, so you do have to set up a connection for it. So here's my mapping. I have an Oracle table called Customer. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Data Viewer, and uh, we're going to preview the data. This goes directly into the table and pulls the data out so you can see all the information about it and we're going to come down to an expression and we're going to add a batch ID and a load date onto this file and we'll, let's go look at the file here it's called HDFS customer and if we look at the properties of it let me bring this up here we have the output file directory is going to be user info and that is actually going to be in HDFS not on the Linux system and the output file name is customer with the date on it and as you can see here, my connection name is going to be H1, and that's the HDFS cluster. So first, let's go out to the HDFS cluster, and let's look to see if we have any files out there. So under user info, we do not have any files yet. So let's go ahead and run this mapping. While that's running in the background here, we can bring up the Informatica monitor. There we go. Shows that it's running. There's about 600,000 rows. So we'll go ahead and pop this up here. And it is completed in the background. And go ahead and do a listing. And there's our file. So that came from an Oracle table. So you'd write a mapping just like you regularly would in Informatica. Add any kind of ports, do anything you want to, and insert it into the file. And that's it. Thank you very much.